Uh, my name is Darsha Narvaez, Darcia Narvaez, and I am from the United States University of Notre Dame. I have a psychology degree, but I have many other lives before that, and music, theology, my own business, various things. But I want to say that my heart was triggered when I was very young uh, about the injustice towards children. And I, in my family, and I spent half my childhood outside the United States. I was born in Minnesota. Uh, and I saw children my age who were not in school, who were selling gum on the street corner, for example. Uh, in Latin America, Latin America, I also lived in Barcelona uh, one year. Uh, and I would go back to the United States and feel so terrible about the injustice that I saw, very concrete as a child, differences in materialism. But now I've come back in the last 20, 25 years back to that heart-centered uh, issue. What's wrong with the world? <laughs> Why is there so much indignity, that's uh, humiliation, transmitted from the beginning of life, right? And so my, my explorations have been in anthropology and theology and neuroscience, developmental science, clinical sciences, and all of it comes together in what I call the evolved nest. Now the evolved nest is our species normal way of raising our young. And it's millions of years old. It's very similar to other animal nests. And now we have the neuroscience to show how important it is. Uh, that it's part of our um, heritage, our ancestral wisdom, is what I call it, that we need to reincorporate into our lives today because we plant the seeds of health or ill health in the early years. And so uh, what the evolved nest then involves, if you see on the back, the flower, these are the nine components that we've studied in my laboratory. Now there's probably more things we could add, but these are the things that we see are so vital that neuroscience can show us are vital today uh, for all of us. And you'll see that there's uh, birth, perinatal experiences, before birth, birth, right after birth, really important for establishing the health trajectory. Breastfeeding are, are for our species. Four years is the average age of weaning, which, you know, in the Western world, ah, explodes your mind. <laughs> but um, those two are only for the young children, right? The rest of them are for all of us. We all need affectionate touch. We all need a welcoming climate where we feel like we belong and we matter. We have something to contribute. We all need to play and be silly and sing and dance. We all need mentors, responsive relationships, lots of different ones from the beginning of life who are responding to us, are listening and drawing out our spirit. We all need to be connected to nature, to feel that we are part of the Earth community and that we are uh, partners, not dominators over the natural world. And because we make decisions, we are the animal who makes choices, more so than other animals, we kind of get out of balance in our relationships, in our physical health, mental health, and so we need to have restorative healing practices regularly. The uh, San people of Central Africa, when they're asked how often do you have healing ceremonies, well, maybe once a week. <laughs> oh, but there, if there's grieving, every day. So we all need these things. And we need to remember our ancestral wisdom. Because what we've done now, if you see the front page with the red uh, <coughs> pathway, this is in the United States. It's, this is the, probably the worst place in the world to raise a child in the United States, unless you're in a war zone. Uh, so what we do in the United States is we promote disconnection from the beginning. Mothers are too stressed during pregnancy. 
birth is traumatizing, the children are separated, the babies are separated, and so you already start disconnection and that individualism then, you can't trust people, you can't feel safe in the world, it already starts then. So we don't meet basic needs, uh, we don't meet those needs, and then we have ill-being, and then we don't like it in the children, we drop them in school to keep them quiet, uh, or you know, you're punished for not, you know, feeling or not being regulated. So many systems get dysregulated from the lack of the evolved nest. And that includes the stress response, the immune system, the endocrine system, oxytocin system, all sorts of systems are not regulated when you're unnested. And it depends on the individual exactly what goes wrong when, because everyone's different. And then the third one there is, what happens then is your heart, you're disconnected from your intuition, your deeper self, that inner compass that otherwise guides you towards health and growth and connection. No, we cut that off and you have to suppress it and lock it away in order to survive. Uh, and you have toxic stress then throughout the community, every age in the United States, all toxically stressed, uh, even the wealthy. They don't take care of their children. They don't provide the nest either. Uh, and then what do you have? What results? The lack of know-how, how to live well with others in cooperation, egalitarianism. That's our heritage. Hunter-gatherer civilization has been around for 300,000 years, 2 million years, depending on how you want to count our species. And they're very, they're fiercely egalitarian. And they honor the dignity of each person, each baby. You do not punish, you do not force anybody. You honor and help them open up and blossom. And so we've lost then the know-how to live, to live well, to live compassionately, to live regeneratively. So the other side shows you the green pathway. This is our wellness-promoting pathway instead of the trauma-inducing pathway. Unfortunately, the United States exports its waste to the world. Still, more and more, it seems, it's a very corporate colonialism, that red pathway. But the green pathway, you meet basic needs through the evolved nest for all ages. You promote health and thriving. You foster individual heart-mindedness and community heart-mindedness. That sense of communal togetherness with the natural world, not part. And you have a know-how then for how to live holistically at every level, mind, spirit, body, coordinated with one another and the natural world so that you have a regenerative lifestyle. So that's what I work on, and I'll talk more about it on Friday. Huh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So one more singing because we go to lunch or nobody? We have some. Oh, please. We have to stand up. No, oh, you can hold hands. You can. Or Recording in progress.
children of God. Okay? If anybody asks you who we are, who we are, mix up who we are. If anybody asks you who we are, tell them who we are. Anybody asks you who I am, who I am, who I am. If anybody asks you 